Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Donna. Welcome to week 50 of nine. Last week, I read personality puzzle. Here's what I have for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to say that this was an amazing book. So yes, I am recommending it. Now, I have taken the personality puzzle challenge before. I've filled it out when I went to when I attended my last church when I was in Birmingham, Alabama, and I found out that I was choleric and sanguine together. And after and that was in 2010. And so now that we're in 2023, it's still the same. I'm a mix of both of those personality types. Now, why am I recommending this book? I'm recommending this book because not only does it have an assessment for you to determine your personality type, but it also does a great job of explaining the strengths, the weaknesses, and even if you have combined personality types like myself, how you can interact with people and how people can interact with you. Oftentimes we find ourselves saying, oh, I don't like them. They're not motivated. And because I'm choleric, I am definitely a person that is always accomplishing something. I'm going to go accomplish something else and I'm going to go accomplish something else. And now if I'm sitting there next to someone else whose goals aren't aligned with mine, then I'm thinking, oh, they're lazy. They're, oh my goodness, look at them. They just want to just go have fun and go chit chat or they'd rather just be by themselves off in a little corner counting numbers. And now that I have this very detailed understanding of all four, four personality types, I can now assess better and I can be less self-righteous when I'm assessing what someone else is doing because most likely we have different personality types. I also like the fact that the, the book used several different examples in work environments of people hiring based upon personality types. Sometimes it's not a good fit because you have a person that is leader based in a position where they're crunching numbers and it just isn't going to work. So by reading this book, you're going to be able to find out which personality types you have, not only in your work profession or in your business, but also in your home. And that's going to make better for everybody because once everybody understands everyone else's personality type, then you can start communicating better. You can start putting people in the right positions and then everybody can focus on doing what they do best and not be forced into being a personality type that just doesn't match them. So I am saying, yes, this is an amazing book. Yes, it is really good. I'm also getting ready to show you a list of those four personality types with just a brief description so you can get the ball rolling. But this book is 100% an absolute yes for me. And here are the four personality types. Last week's New Beginning, I started doing TikTok Lives. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't done live since 2017 and I wasn't a fan of them back then. But now it has been put upon me that I need to start doing lives because I have so much content out there and I need to be able to explain it. I need to be able to explain the principles of road leadership and the theory of personal accountability. So last week I launched Turnaround Tactics where people can come on TikTok Live and tell me their tactics and I will listen and I will say, hey, that's a sound tactic or, ooh, you need to scratch, scratch that tactic because it doesn't work and it has been a great interesting experience it's been a great new beginning I'm doing them once a day and I'm going to continue to do them once a day because I'm learning a lot I'm 50 years old and so lives are have definitely advanced since the last time I was on it but it's a great way to interact with people who aren't necessarily in need of RL 365 or RL program and they just want a quick hey how do I do this is this working out and it's a great way to interact and just get more interaction with people because everything that I do is virtual. So it was pretty cool. It was a good new beginning. This week's book, and it is the final book. Can you believe that we are closing out nine? This week's book is The Science of Getting Rich. Well, that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. But before I get out of here, just remember the power of nine. New beginnings expand your mind. Adios.